first attempt at painting a miniature. Got a black base coat. Decided to go with black. It seems to be the way to go in most videos. And then I decided to highlight, or I'm not sure what the technical term is with white. Say the light source is coming from this side. And uh, so the lighter side of my character is here. Darker side is here. Kind of messed up the face a little bit. But we're just winging it for now. Watched several how to videos online. And now I'm trying to give it a go. This character is from Fallout board game. And uh, we'll see how it goes from here. Alright. Got my next coat or next color kind of started ish it's hard to really tell but maybe I'll turn it this way oh look at that the better can I see he's the white highlight where the white's gonna hit where the light is going to hit and uh, Seems to look pretty good. The black kind of makes it look like it's shaded. And, uh, the face is kind of difficult. I may have a little bit of problems with the face. I'm very shaky. But it looks kind of cool so far. Simply just get my brush, try to, and swipe perpendicular to some of these lines. See how the vein goes this way? So I'm still not swiping across this way. This way it highlights the vein without coloring in this area that's black. Makes it look more shaded under his arm as the light is coming from this side, which more of his arm. Probably all of that should be highlighted. But I'm gonna go with like that right now. It looks pretty cool. This is kind of difficult. My brush is wet. So, beginner mistake right there. And so green got in all the crevices. I believe his toes are painted also, but this one's kind of hard to see. Since it's darker, so the green doesn't show up as well. But it makes it look shaded, because this should be the darker side. As you can see, light's hitting from this side. So, you can't see the toes on that other side. Which is why those same toes darker and I'm gonna try and hit maybe this scarf up here next and we'll see how well that comes out all right second step I ended up washing the uh, or painting these boots that's all we got there so far had a little bit of light brown so kind of Try to make it look a little dirty. And I guess I'll just uh, make it look a little dirty there. Not really sure. Oh, I think I just dunked it. And then, that's about as far as we've gotten so far. And I think I'm going to do this. Kind of looks like a hoodie. I'm going to try to make that look a separate color than the actual chest piece is probably all one piece but I think it might be kind of cool to separate it out so maybe I'll throw a little red on there and wing it see what happens all right next step well that's a lot better I got red on the top I got the little ropes painted the red on the hammer I kind of like it to make it a bloody hammer. That'd be kind of cool. And uh, on his left arm, painting it red there. Make it look like some sort of cloth underneath armor. Painted the ropes on that left arm. And ropes on this upper body. I don't know if the ropes are chains, so I just made them brown. Look like ropes kind of make his face kind of messy. Well, he just hit somebody. Got some blood spatter or blood from battle, whatever. It's kind of dirty. Maybe try and figure out how to get his eyes done. But it's kind of cool so far. 
I think I'll work on the lower body next. Mostly it's just using this tiny brush and uh, swiping on each of those there. I don't think I've got any paint on there to do anything. Maybe a little bit. But dry brushing right now, try and get there without because a wet wash will get in those cracks and I kind of want this to stay black. Keep it highlighted to make it look shaded. Maybe I should stick with the upper body. I tend to bounce around a lot. Maybe hit these. I think those are like ammo or something. Maybe paint that or just kind of leave it kind of dirty looking. It looks kind of messy. Maybe that'll make it look kind of cool. Or maybe paint it orange. I haven't decided yet. Maybe I'll paint those canisters first. Gray on the top and the bottom. And each canister is kind of greenish to look like the hallucinogenic grenades. I think that'd be cool. And then I guess I'll hit this too. Pop back up and show you how it looks from there. See what my progress is. Alright, that's what I got so far. Finished up everything. Finished up the back of the hammer on his hand and kind of went over a few touches here and there. It looked kind of white. A little couple of specks poking through. Try and decorate the base with something. I haven't decided yet, but for the most part, it looks pretty cool. And uh, I think that's all I'm gonna do there. Maybe throw a wash on it, might clean it up a little bit, but I like the dirty look that it kind of came out with it. It uh, looks pretty neat. Overall, I think I enjoyed how this character came out. It looks pretty dirty, as he should in a nuclear wasteland. And face seemed to come out all right. But overall, for my first time, not too bad. It looks kind of shaded. It looks kind of messy. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of it could be better. But for my own personal use, I think he's kind of cool for a first time. A dirty character not having to look really clean or anything like that. As maybe a soldier would look on a board game that is, uh, isn't battle-worn. Because the theme is he's from the wasteland. So he should be dirty looking. So I think that made it a little bit easier for me to make several mistakes along the way and just kind of get into this new hobby of painting things. But if you watch this, leave a comment what you'd like, any tips you might have. But I've got a long way to go, so it's just a learning process. And I'll probably end up decorating this base. Trying to use a couple of videos that are out there. Make it look pretty nice. Well, that's about it for this video. Cut it off here before it gets too long. Thanks for watching.